Europe and Africa are separated by just 14 kilometers of water. That's shorter than most people's daily commute. So why in 2025 is there still no bridge connecting two entire continents? The answer will blow your mind. We've built bridges spanning 164 kilometers in China. We connected Denmark to Sweden across the ocean. The Golden Gate Bridge? Child's play at just 2.7 kilometers. But this 14 kilometer gap remains unconquered. Here's why. First, the hidden killer, depth. The seafloor plunges 900 meters down, deeper than three Empire State buildings stacked together. Imagine building bridge supports in water nearly a kilometer deep while hurricane force currents from two colliding oceans try to destroy everything you build. Second, it's a geological time bomb. The African and European continental plates smash together right here, causing constant earthquakes. Any bridge would need to survive seismic forces that regularly flatten entire cities. The engineering doesn't exist yet. Third, politics. Who controls it, Spain or Morocco? How do you handle immigration between continents? Security, customs. Two governments, two continents, infinite complications. Here's the kicker. Engineers estimate it would cost over $100 billion. That's more than the entire GDP of most countries. For one bridge, but here's what's crazy. They're actually still trying. Spain and Morocco have active tunnel projects under study. Not a bridge, but an underwater tunnel like the one connecting England to France. The first bridge between continents isn't impossible. Just waiting for the right combination of money, politics, and engineering breakthroughs. The question isn't, can we build it? It's, will we?